Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Yes, I'm back, just like I never left. And yes, this is the famous sweater from the What's in the Bag video. If you haven't seen it, make sure you go check it out. What on earth are you waiting for? No pressure, just kidding. I do want to give a huge thank you to my dear friend Meek who actually picked out all of the pieces from the What's in the Bag video. She's got a great sense of style and a really sharp eye. Love you, Meek. Thanks. The last time I nailed it, I shared some tips on how to prep your nails before you paint them, and I used that magnificent green that was absolutely to die for, but honestly, smileys, it's dead. So we're doing a polish change today. It's, it, it's time. Off with the old and in with the blue. And make sure you guys stick around because we are revealing another smiley of the week at the end of this video. You don't want to miss it. Okay, first things first, we are going to remove this old polish. I've had this on for just about two weeks and as you can see, it has definitely started to lose some of its flair. I mean, you all know what nails look like when they need a fill in and yeah, we are not going there. If I want to be at my best, I've got to keep my polish fresh. It is time for a brand new paint job today. Besides, two weeks is about as long as I want to go with one color because I get bored really easily and I like to change up my polish a lot. I just do. As you can see, I already got a little creative earlier this week and decided to go in and paint a few of my nails using this taupe color for no other reason than I just wanted to change it up a little bit. That's all. I'm using a bit of acetone and a cotton swab to remove my old polish. And basically there are two different kinds of nail polish removers. There's acetone and non-acetone. Non-acetone removers use less aggressive solvents. However, the bottom line is acetone is still the most effective way to remove nail polish. It's just unfortunate that it can be harsh and it can still dry out your skin and nails, but you should be fine as long as you're mindful of that and you always use a cuticle oil and hand moisturizers whenever you do use acetone. So after we're all done there, I'm gonna move on to cleaning underneath my nails using an orange stick, which is really easy to use. One end is flat and angled and it can be used to push back your cuticles and the other end is pointed and somewhat sharp and can be used to clean underneath your nails. This is important because you don't wanna be out here with dirty nails, smileys. Then I'm gonna move on to a quick file and honestly, my nails are still in really good shape, thank God, but I'm still gonna give them a quick file just to make sure I get the desired shape that I want and I don't have any ridges on the sides or around the fronts of my nails. Then we're gonna move on to using this orange stick here. This is a rubber grip cuticle pusher and can be used to clean underneath your nails and the curved end shapes the cuticles and won't scratch your nails. This multitasker is a must have for your nail tool collection. Speaking of collections, I cannot wait to share my entire nail care collection with you guys. It's massive. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. It's massive. Another video, another time. See you guys on that video. But I'm just gonna give them a quick scrub with some hand soap underneath some warm water just to make sure I get all of the debris and dirt from underneath my nails, whatever is remaining after we use the orange stick. La da da, before we move on to the Sally Hansen 7 in 1 Complete Nail Treatment. You all should recognize this because I did use it in my last nail dip video. It's one of my favorites. I'm sure I said it then and I'm saying it again now. It's a base coat, it's a top coat, it helps your nails grow. It's a strengthener, a ridge filler, a brightener, and it's ultra moisturizing. I don't, I don't know how much better it gets. And I honestly believe that my nails are doing really well with growth right now because of this polish right here. I stand by it 100%. Okay, now my favorite part. This blue is so beautiful. It's by Revlon, it's number 490, and the name of the polish is Urban. Yes, this is one of my fall favorites. 
Yes, this is in my top five colors because I do have a lot that I love. My nail collection actually is probably around 300 bottles of polish right now. So it's hard to say which one's of my favorite, but this one I think definitely makes the cut. Look at how beautiful it is, guys. Oh my goodness. What more could you want? What more could you want? If you're a fan of blue, then you should definitely have this one in your collection. Not only is it blue, it, okay, hey, Mr. Random Carousel Horse, this is a gift from my sister. I'm not sure what you're doing in this video, but yeah, yeah, you, you gotta get out of here. Okay, so back to the manicure. What was I saying? Yes, this beautiful blue is definitely irresistible. If you haven't tried it, make sure you try it. Number 490 by Revlon, it's called Urban, and I'm in love with it. Mostly because it doesn't just look blue, it also has undertones of a purple. It looks luxurious and elegant and just amazing. I love it. My love for polish is nothing new. I've actually loved polishing my nails since I was a very, very small girl. I've had years and years of practice doing this. So if you're having trouble staying within the lines to begin with, don't give up, just keep on going. Trust me, it gets better, it gets easier, and you guys can do this. You totally can do this. And when you're using colors this beautiful, it's not that hard to want to do it. This does not even look like it needs a second coat, but I'm gonna go ahead and go for it anyway. The more, the better. Honestly, with a color this beautiful, I wouldn't mind applying a million coats, okay? It's that serious. It's just that serious. And I'm being fancy today, so hey, I decided to pull out my little jewel kit. This kit comes with lots of different shapes of little stones that you can use to be fancy. There's hearts, there's stars, there's um, squares, there's rectangles, there's some teardrop shaped ones, there's ones that are shaped like flowers. They get really creative and they can be cute just to add a little touch to your nails when you don't wanna be so plain, so why not? And then finally, I'm gonna add a top coat. I'm not using the big shiny top coat by Sally Hansen today. Instead, I am using the OPI top coat in the color clear, which works just as well. And it's nice and shiny too. And after we're done there, that's gonna wrap up our mani. It's beautiful, I love it. We nailed it again, smileys, woo! Hope you love it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And I would never leave you guys without first revealing the smiley of the week. Take a look at this beauty. We actually had to do a double take on her. This is Taisha from Detroit, Michigan, and this smile definitely deserves a huge hand clap from all of my smileys. Make sure you guys keep sending those selfies. Just simply email them to AI Brown Smile and know that when you see me smiling, I am wearing the smile that you all gave me. I love you so much. See you next time. Mwah.